moment about 50 of us, probably 40 to 50 of us, including children. And that's, we all work around the farm or um, even raising our children, doing the school, homeschooling. Um, some of us do the bakery, there's a few of us there, and some of us work in the cafe, which is a great environment um, to welcome lots of people and a good place to work. So you're welcome to come and see what we're about. <laughs> Okay, so we have the, the whole community here. We come out and we work in the fields here. We, we pick several days a week for the, the green bar and the green drink that we produce, as well as we also come out as a community and we participate in the weeding program and planting and, and the other many and varied things that are required to make the farm function. The seed that we use on our farm here is all open pollinated seed. It's non-hybrid, so it means that you can keep the seed from generation to generation, which is an important thing these days uh, with a lot of the things happening with genetic modification and even hybridization of seeds where you're basically being dependent upon a, um, a system other than the ecosystem that you're creating. This is our mobile chicken pen that moves around our farm. This is like the last stage of our growing. Um, they come through and eat all the bugs, all the um, different critters are in the ground. They turn the soil upside down. They do a great job. So this we let them go through the um, pastures just before tilling the ground. Well our cafe at Picton's down at the Razorback Inn, um, which, is, which was built originally in 1849, just a little inn on the way down to Melbourne, so the main road, main highway between Sydney and Melbourne. Now we've uh, transformed it into a cafe, a beautiful cafe and bakery, where we've got a wood-fired oven. We make delicious wood sourdough pizzas. Um, and this is where we make the sourdough bread, which you all know of, and the lovely green drink and green bar. So that's the, really the production area for all those things. So we, we built this oven about three years ago, and it's uh, made of refractory bricks. It's in the design of the Alan Scott design, which means it's got um, three layers of bricks either way and it's a deep heat storage. So this fire is burning right now and it's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. But this will be burning a little bit further and we will be um, letting the temperature even out, even out overnight. So in the morning at about six o'clock this will be ready to bake bread. Basically our recipes are a learning process. So um, we've just made them as we went along. We've actually started out without making sourdough bread. I learned how to make sourdough bread as the years went by, so um, we're slowly getting better at it. But it's uh, it's definitely an art. It's a great way to live, and um, it's great nourishment. The thing about sourdough actually is that it, it breaks down the bread, so you can take it in. Which is these days that's the biggest reason why people have intolerances to wheat, for instance, or um, basically just normal bread because it's so. Um, hybridized and not, it's just, your body doesn't accept it. So the green drink, uh, we take a mix of these different greens that, that we grow here, the, the silver beet, the, the collard greens, broccoli greens, kale greens, and we mix them with freshly squeezed organic grapefruit and organic orange juice fresh apples and linseeds and a product, a green tea from Brazil known as yerba mate, which is a, a beautiful energizing green tea. Okay, we've got greens, silver beet, collards, kale, broccoli leaves are under here and kale, apples, honey, orange juice, grapefruit juice and mate. Well, they're going to be blended because it's a smoothie. The, the combination makes the green drink. We also put similar things into the green bar as well, which for that we dehydrate the greens. We pick them and we dehydrate them on top of the stone oven where we bake our bread down at the bakery. It's a beautiful ambient temperature up there, about 32 degrees, about zero humidity. <laughs> it's great in winter, not so nice in summer. <laughs> it takes about three days to dry greens to the stage where you can um, blend the leafy part of the greens, not the stem, but just the leafy parts. 
and that's what we mix into our green bar. Right now mainly we're, um, we're at the Beaches Market for instance um, and different other markets around Sydney and you can also find us at our cafes. Well actually the reason why I want to grow good food is um, mainly because we want to care for each other because we live in a community of people um, and the real best way to care for each other is actually to have good food which you've got to have a good farm to have good food which means the soil needs to be rich and cultivated properly so that you can feed your people with good nutrients. We actually believe there's a creator um, who's created the heavens and the earth and he is the one who actually cares for us and provides the rain and the sunshine, everything we need. So yeah, we are, we are a community of believers and we will live together to learn to love each other.